Learn ICT with Amali's IT Classroom. Today we are going to learn creation of data and information. In our day-to-day -day life, information used in various ways. First of all, we can see the decision making. To make decisions, we need information. Then to make plans, schedules, policies, also we need information. And also we can uh, predict how it would be in the future by using this information. For an example, we can say the present information on currency exchange would be helpful to predict that for the following month or for the following year. There are two ways to process data and create information. First one is manual method. Second one is automated methods. What is mean by manual method? The data processing and information creation is completely done in manual using our hands. Then automated methods mean data processing and information creation is done using different kind of technological methods. Now we will see what is the difference between manual system and automation system. So first of all we will consider the manual system. So in manual system data processing and creation of information can be done in manually. So what are the drawbacks in there? It taking more time in entering data as well as organizing data. And the other one is human errors in data processing are high. So it's lead to inaccurate information. And the other one is manual methods are inefficient in sharing information as well as it's difficult to provide a quality service to the customer. For example, if a customer need to know something, then he will get more time to collect that time. So data inconsistency may occur in manual methods. So what do you mean by inconsistency? It means occurring the same data in two different files in different formats or it can be in different values. So when the same data exists in different files, then when we update or when we delete, it cannot be done easily. Then if we consider the automatic system, in automatic data processing, if we compare with the manual data processing, it's more efficient. When we storing data, when we processing data or when we retrieve data, it's more efficient. And also, in here, we need less human interaction than the manual data processing. And some every application, for example, emergency broadcast signals or security updates, or it can be some uh, space research, some, some scientific effects, or maybe a system which giving harmful radiation. So those kind of things, it's better to use automatic system than the manual system. So that is the way will be identify the differences between manual system and automatic system. Now we are going to learn what do you mean by internet. With the technological development of ICT or the information and communication era, now worlds become global village. So internet also one factor in this global village. So what is internet? Internet meaning a network of networks. So what do you mean by a network? Network means connecting two or more computers together. By connecting two or more computers together, we can share data as well as we can share resources. So what type of resources? Like printer or scanner 
So those are the resources we can share. So internet meaning a network of networks. Now who introduced the internet? So internet was introduced by an agency known as ARPA. US Department of Defense gave the financial support to produce this network. So US Department need to find out a reliable method to share their military data. So that's why they work together with ARPA agency. So ARPA was introduced this network and named as ARPANET. So at the beginning there are four units connecting with this network and sharing information. So at that time this network was used by only computer professionals or maybe scientists. But later on, in 1990s, Sir Tim Berners-Lee was introduced World Wide Web. So with the invention of World Wide Web, now this internet becomes public. So today, everyone uses internet to collect or gather information. If you're interested to learn with me, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon.